Hey folks, just wanted to share my second completed solar system. Uh, go over some of the ideas that I used and uh, ultimately the costs of everything. This is a 6600 watt solar system featuring 24 Talison 275 watt panels, polys. And I have these designed in uh, eight strings of three panels a piece. Provides uh, about 100 volts and about 8.5 amps. I'll give you an idea of how these things are secured. Uh, just like with my prior setup, I utilize Unistrat. Seems a inexpensive, inexpensive, efficient method of getting it done. In this case, we have three 40-foot unit struts unit across the whole roof. With each panel secured on each corner with uh, unit strut hardware. Pretty simple. So these are all wired up using 10 aug wiring. Uh, each one of those strings, uh, actually two strings, comes down into, into a, a junction box and then into one inch conduit, steel conduit. And it meets up with the others down the line. And then it comes into the utility room, transverses the ceiling. And comes down into my combiner box. I've made this up. It features two voltmeters for each one of the strings, which are inaccurate voltmeters. <laughs> uh, I need to find another voltmeter that's accurate on a 48 volt system that will fit in its holes, but you can see how far off that is from the ammeter. Uh, these voltmeters are off by like 15%. Ammeter works well. So each one of those 10 aug wires from this for each string comes down to its own little circuit breaker. Uh, these circuit breakers are made in Hong Kong. They cost like seven, eight dollars, rated at 250 volts DC. And in this case, each one of these is 10 amps for an 8.5 amp string. And then down below, we have the two parallel strings, and that's set at 40 amps. So it comes out of here with the um, the fattest cable and that outback power CC or charge controllers supports that's six aug and we have two of these FM 80s because of the wattage upstairs uh, but they, they basically work as one as soon as the battery bank is getting close to full charge you know, I would imagine after it uh, gets above like 80% I often notice, uh, like right now, we'll have one that just completely drops out, leaving all the work to its neighbor. And again, that's only when the battery bank is getting fully charged. Uh, while it was in, while it's in bulk mode, obviously these guys are, uh, you know, both in bulk mode and both uh, generating as much power supply as possible. 
So then it shoots out of here again on the same 6 AUG. Goes through two 250 volt 100 amp breakers. And then comes down into my box. This battery bank features 16 CR430s. That's Crown CR430s. And that is 430 amp hours at the 20 hour rate. They feature these uh, cute little, uh, what's called Pro Eyes. And I think it's hard to see right now, but this is green. When the battery is running low on water, requiring uh, a, you know, a refill with distilled water, it'll be white. So that makes it a little easier too. Here's the other part of that ammeter. So this box works really well. I have two fans. Uh, one is pushing air in, and then on the other side, it's sucking air out. And that works effectively, I know, because uh, when I'm equalizing for two hours every month or so, I won't smell any hydrogen in here, and that's important. So then, it, uh, all these interconnects are two slash O cabling, as is the, the uh, wiring going to my inverter. Uh, this is a Magnusign 440, 4400 uh, 4, watt. Uh, it has the ability to double that at five minutes and it suffices. It works well for me. So costs, the panels upstairs, I purchased those on eBay for $3,000 for a complete pallet and that was 30 panels. I only used 24 of them but those 30 panels uh, including shipping were $3,300. Uh, these batteries were about $4,500 obviously the most expensive part of the whole system. The Magnusign, this is a $1,800 inverter. And the two Outback FM80s, uh, these go for $450 a pop. And then when you include everything else, like the Unistrut, and it's uh, accessories upstairs, uh, this box with all the breakers and um, the box itself for the battery bank, everything included. It came out to $12,300. So that equates to, on a 6600 system upstairs, of $2 a watt. I think that's a pretty good price. But I'm very happy with this. It works really well. I haven't had any issues with it yet. Uh, it's very seamless. I like the idea that I can come out here in the morning, which I do every single morning, and I can get a, you know, a good idea on how I stand with SOC and the voltage and making sure that there's balancing between the two banks and um, uh, everything I pretty much need to know on a really quick look makes it easy so there she is give me a holler thank you